So, the ingredients are... Of course, you'll need some rice. Here we have some sushi rice, which we flavored with some rice vinegar. Of course, if you don't have sushi rice, you can also use plain rice. But sushi rice is way more delicious, of course. We got our hands on some edamame. These are just frozen edamame, which we are going to reheat in a microwave. Again, from the frozen aisle, we have some yakitori sticks, which are super delicious. You can also replace these with some sausages or whatever you like. One avocado, three eggs, which we're going to use to make this super delicious omelet. For this omelet, we'll also use about two teaspoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. And finally, pure for the decoration purposes, we're going to use these colored sesame seeds to decorate the whole thing. Oh yeah, I also forgot, we're going to use some nori as decoration as well. First, we're going to do the prep work. Take your avocado and cut it in two. Twist. Ooh, that's a small seed. Remove the seed. Well, that's awkward. Yeah, that's better. You take the avocado and just slice thin slices in the shell as thin as possible or as thin as you like it. Of course, if you're a bit clumsy with the knife, make sure that you don't cut through the avocado into your hand. With a little bit of patience and a little bit of magic, you'll have some nice avocado slices. And then you can just scoop away the skin with a spoon. Or if your avocado is really ripe, you can just peel it away, no problem. Next step, the eggs. Take a bowl and break your eggs in there. Add the sugar and the salt and the soy sauce and mix everything up with a fork. There you go. Take a pan and put it on a fire. Add some olive oil and let it get hot. Once the oil is really hot, add in your egg and let it fry until it's done. If you want to be a real weeaboo, you can also use chopsticks. And there you go, the egg is done. Now for the easy part, let's put in the edamame into the microwave and let it heat up. For the nori, I'm just going to cut it into thin strips, first in two and then into thin strips. There we go, something like that. Oh, it's done. Careful, it's hot. It is hot? Yes, yeah, really hot. <laughs> That's done. Now it's time for the yakitori sticks. Right. For the assembly, just take a bowl and put some rice in there. Put some avocado slices on top, then the egg, tuck it in there. We've already pre-peeled the edamame. Put some edamame next to it, couple of yakitori sticks, sprinkle some sesame seeds and a little bit everywhere. And to finish it off, some nori strips. And there you go. Time for test test. So, I'm going to try and take a bit of everything. Also, I am going to use a spoon because especially for me standing up and eating, this is way easier. But of course, you can always use chopsticks as well. Cheers! I think the biggest fan of sushi, but I also love a good rice bowl. I like this combination, but of course you can make any combination uh, you like. You can add different kind of vegetables, meat or fish, do whatever you like and just be creative. We made this recipe for about two to three servings. So I am going to enjoy this a little bit further. Thank you guys again for watching this episode. And as always, see you in the next one.